Hi everyone, it's Butter. I'm going to do a vlog this week just to mix it up and because something interesting came up. Um, Born to Fly is Ebo's first movie with him playing the lead. It's a huge movie because it's his movie and I know we're all proud and thrilled for him. Recently, today, in fact, there's been movement on this video so I thought I'd do a little vlog and talk about it with you and try to figure out what's going on with it. I mean, thankfully, I already had my hair and makeup done. How convenient. So yeah, and keep in mind that the information for this movie is coming out all the time, so it could come out two minutes after I post this video. So don't take anything I say here as set in stone because it could change. Um, first, let's discuss what this movie seems to be about. What we know is that Ibo's character Leia is one of several pilots who are vying to become the country's test pilot. Now this is different from Top Gun where the story was about pilots who were participating in the Navy's Top Gun program, um, which is a tactical fighting training program. After you graduate from Top Gun, you return to your assignment wherever that is in the military and then continue serving as a pilot or as an instructor. It's like a specialized grad school for pilots. It's not something you stay in. Whereas the test pilot program in Born to Fly is different. They're not learning and leaving after graduation. They're trying to win a position, a job, as a test pilot. And in case you don't know, a test pilot is an extremely dangerous occupation. I mean, think about it. They're testing a machine in order to find out when it breaks. That's it. That means pushing it over its recommended limits. That means making maneuvers that shouldn't be made just to see if the plane can handle it anyway. It's like asking, is a tiger dangerous? Well, you can't tell while it's sleeping, so you have to poke it. That's essentially what test piloting is. They're straining features to see if they fail. And if they do fail, they then test how they can be fixed or recovered from. Everything will fail eventually. These pilots need to know when that moment is and that's really scary if you think about it. They're trying to make things go wrong. And no surprise, sometimes things will go so wrong that there's no recovery from it. A good movie to check out about this is The Right Stuff, which features um, Chuck Yeager. He's a very famous test pilot, so there's some pretty interesting scenes in there about him testing and the, the survival limits of that. Now that we know the very significant differences between the Top Gun movie heroes and those from Born to Fly, Let's stop comparing them and focus on Born to Fly. In addition to Yibo's character, there appears to be an antagonist pilot, uh, Dung Fong, played by Yushi. From the brief footage that we've seen, we can see that Dung Fong and Leia butt heads several times. Um, they fight, they're making little snarky comments to each other. Dung Fong seems to be a navigator, which is the pilot who sits in the second seat behind the main pilot and watches the radar and other technical screens for the plane while the pilot up front controls it and the weapon systems if there are any. That forces these two characters together since Leia is a pilot who needs a navigator in certain planes. They'll get paired together often, I'm guessing, and fight each other up until the end because, you know, that's juicy. There are some scenes which suggest how they will earn each other's respect but let's find out together when the movie opens. Another major character is a military doctor, um, Shen Tian, played by Zhou Dongya. She seems to be primarily overseeing the physical and mental fitness testing that the pilots undergo to try and pass and enter the program. We all see her showing up at the site of a plane crash, though we don't know which one that is because editing could be deceiving. I'm most excited about her and Yibo's character in the testing scenes. This has the potential to not only be sexy as Leia is straining and fighting to succeed, but also to contain a lot of hurt comfort elements. Personally, I'm hoping he passes out at some point and Shen Tiang has to take care of him. Or maybe better, he gets injured slightly and has to take his shirt off to be treated. Okay, I'm equal parts mama fan and girlfriend, so yeah. The other major character, Zhang Tiang, or wait, Zhang Ting is played by Hu Jun and is some kind of a commanding officer for the program. From snippets that we've seen, he has a tragic past with either a family member or a close friend who loses their life, um, possibly within the test program. 
that may be the accident that they show us glimpses of in the trailer, or it may be something from his past. My guess is he'll transfer some of those feelings of guilt or regret to Yibo's character, which will make Leia's fate important to him. The trailers have shown Leia's character in confrontation with pilots with western soundy accents. One pilot has an Americanish accent, while the other sounds German to me. I doubt China would pit themselves against any one specific country, so these accents are likely meant to represent the West in a general sense, though I wouldn't read too much into it politically. Every fictional conflict needs a fictional enemy. The real highlights of this scene so far is Ibo speaking English. Okay, his English is not the best, but it sounds darling. This scene between the planes uh, must occur early in Leia's career before he joins the test pilot program because I don't know why he'd engage with potential hostiles while testing a plane. Which leads to an interesting question. What will Born to Fly be about if it won't be about combat? Because test pilots are not combat pilots, at least not while doing their job of testing. They'll test weapon systems and the like, but I seriously doubt they do that against live opponents. So what will they do in the movie? We'll have to wait to find out. Um, there are a bunch of scenes in the trailers, suggestive scenes, but I think many of them are flashbacks to events that happen before the test piloting program starts. It's tough to tell in trailers because they're edited to try to mislead you a tiny bit. But a couple of scenarios that come to mind are, one, there's a plane that everyone is afraid to test because of its history of malfunctions. Not like it's cursed, but it's got a reputation, or maybe it's simply a big unknown, which makes it dangerous. Or two, maybe the military needs a particular plane, the J-20 maybe, but it needs further testing of a specific function, like maybe something experimental. And the test pilots need to get this done in time for some exact date because you need a ticking clock here, in other words, to, to add tension. That or the fear hanging over their heads that the plane will fail in a fatal manner. Subplots can involve Ibo and Joe Donya's character, but I'm kind of doubtful about that. This is a military propaganda movie when you come down to it, so I don't see a romance factoring in much. This is more about promoting country pride. And in saying that, my guesses and interpretations of the trailers are based on my experience watching Western media. Like take the US for instance, Hollywood makes movies that celebrate individual achievement because its primary focus is an American audience. In America, it's all about the individual hero. He could be a leader of a group of people, but his leadership skills are what make the difference. Chinese movies are different. They emphasize and celebrate collective victory. So even though I reflexively want to say that Lei Ye will do this and the story will go that way, I have to stop myself because Chinese storylines are different. Lei Ye likely won't be some super duper hero, though he'll have his heroic moments. It looks like he survives something like a stall and later there's a scene where he might be recovered from the desert and the other pilots are cheering for him, but I suspect neither of those are the climax of the movie. More likely he'll be part of a of the group of pilots achieving something great, which reflects China's ideals. It's interesting for me to see how these themes differ, and I'm really eager for the final product. Speaking of which, when is this thing coming out? Well, as we all know, Born to Fly was initially scheduled for National Day in 2022, but at the last minute, like the day of its red carpet last minute, the film was pulled from the schedule. The reasons were vague, something about the filmmakers wanted to make the movie effects better, which sounded kind of dubious. Then there was the issue of the Chinese military abruptly calling the J-20 plane a fifth generation machine when it's referred to as a fourth generation machine in the movie. So there was speculation that lines needed to be redubbed to reflect the upgraded term. No one knows and no one knew when the film would come out or if those reasons were actually evidence of its failure and it would be shelved indefinitely, just no one knew. Then January 4th, 5th in China, a new moving poster comes out with the news that the movie is coming this year. It's a pretty darn cool poster with the plane casting the shadow of what everyone is saying is an eagle. 
Not only is it exciting that the poster promises the movie is coming in 2023, and that it has not in fact been shelved, the poster now features some interesting tidbits. At the bottom of it, we now see lots of names. They were on the previous posters from last year, but very, very small. Now they're big, as though they're deliberately meant to draw attention to themselves. And apparently there are a few new names too. Han Han, the producer, is now way at the end of the line of a list of military and government officials and experts listed as producers, including the chief designer of the J-20. This guy was always involved, but in the background. Maybe he was being humble, but it partially led to bloggers and people who claim to know military material to criticize parts of the trailer as being inaccurate or just plain wrong. Like they even complained about the air cone around the end of the plane. But now, with the chief designer's name being large on the poster, it pretty much guarantees that the film is saying, you've got a problem with this movie? Then you got a problem with this big important person. No way is anyone questioning technical matters in this movie anymore. The experts have put their stamp on this movie, and the government officials have too. This is how they feel this subject matter should be represented, and they put their names behind it. That's important. It's going to make Born to Fly very difficult to attack by antis, and that's refreshing. Um, when will this movie actually release? Huh. Well, thankfully not in time for the Spring Festival because we're already promoting Hidden Blade. China's movie release schedule falls around their major holidays, so we're looking at four, maybe five times a year a movie can come out. For a movie like Born to Fly, we're probably looking at May Day, Golden Week film stall, or the Summer Vacation stall. Most of these are big money-making times for cinema. Born to Fly will be great programming for them. It's a blockbuster. I'd obviously love the sooner the better, but I'll take it whenever it comes. And, now we, and as we just learned, it is coming. Now, a reminder, this is just me talking. I don't know anything that you guys don't know. So if you've got other ideas about this movie, let me know in the comments. What do you think this movie will be about? I've heard some people suggest that Leia will die in the movie, which I do not want. But hey, if it serves the story, I'm all for it. Mostly, I just want to see Ebo lead a movie and show everyone how awesome he is. So again, give me your comments and let's wait for the next movie. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next movie. Oh no, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.